Let's now move on to lecture number two, which is about two basic data structures, arrays versus linked lists. Specifically, we're going to learn about for linked lists, how we can link them, either singly linked or doubly linked. That's something we'll get into. And the reason that we want to talk about these two data structures together is because you can think about both of them are more like a basic building blocks. You know, whenever you play about Lego in your childhood, you know, for each uh, primitive building block, in order for you to make something creative, you really have to make sure you can uh, put the building blocks together well. So that's uh, analogous to the arrays and linked lists uh, over here. So once we learn about these two basic data structures beyond uh, lecture number two, whenever we talk about any new data structure like a stats, queues, uh, trees and graphs, we definitely can really make use of these two uh, basic data structures. And even more, beyond this course, you can even design your own data structure using these two basic uh, building blocks. So we're definitely going to spend enough time, especially on linked lists, uh, to make sure you're uh, feeling comfortable uh, implementing them. The basic ones, and then beyond this lecture, you will also be able to uh, implement other uh, methods or challenging methods for linked lists and definitely attend the q and A. I'll try to bring some uh, additional exercises uh, for you to solve during the q and A for both uh, data structures. All right, let's now go on to talk about this lecture and for arrays. Don't be too worried about that. I might be repeating what you have already known. I think I'll try to give you some more uh, new insights into the arrays, which I normally wouldn't talk about in the first and second year in your earlier Java course. All right. And before I state the learning outcomes, I would like to talk about the background study you are required to do. And you are supposed to actually learn in EECS 2030, the advanced OOP course about the basics of using Java generics, about uh, these uh, bullet, uh, bullet point items. I would, uh, I would say take a look at these uh, three bullet point items I mentioned over here. If you feel very confident, confident about each one of them, then you may be able to just skip uh, this particular review. Otherwise, I would highly recommend you actually try to uh, uh, take a look at the uh, uh, study materials I made available to you. It's uh, re it's required for this course. We definitely need gen uh, generics for not just linked list, uh, but also we can need uh, need that for other data structure data structure as well later. All right, uh, you're gonna know about why. Uh, well, actually, first of all, you should really know about the difference between general collection, let's say an, uh, an array of objects versus a generic uh, collection, like a, an array of type E, where E is a generic parameter that's declared at the class level. And how using generics minimizes typecasts and also instance of checks. That's something uh, like a very important rationale of why we're using the design of uh, generics rather than just uh, an array of objects. It's a very important uh, item as well for you to understand. And also how you can implement and use generic classes. If you got any doubts about either of them, then I would say you might be in a position that, uh, that needs about some thorough review before you can move on, all right? But of course, you can definitely try to catch up the gener uh, generics as you are studying through uh, this week's lecture. I'm not going to really use generics until week number three. So I think uh, at this moment, you definitely want to take advantage of this week uh, to really make sure before week number three, you really uh, review all the basics of generics. So when I talk about how you can implement generic uh, singly linked list, it wouldn't, be too, uh, it wouldn't be too surprising to you, all right? And what about the study resources? Okay, go to the uh, EECS 2030-421 uh, lecture site, which I already pointed out to you in the beginning of week one. And these are the two uh, parts you can definitely look at. Let me show to you very quickly, just make sure it's uh, clear to you. And if you go to the 2030-421 website over there, and then if you just scroll down to week number 10, okay, I'll show you. So scroll down all the way to week number 10, not from the beginning. At the, uh, after I spoke about interface, you can see from part, uh, it's like lecture number seven over here. You can see lecture number seven, part uh, A1, A2, and A3. Okay, that's the first part. And then go to week uh, 11 and another two parts about uh, the generics over here. All right, over here, it's uh, week 11. So these are the two weeks uh, I would like, to, uh, like you to review actually to actually cover all the bullet points I just mentioned earlier. And then if you got, uh, well, I, I also got some tips for you. Let me just go back to the slides quickly. And then I'll talk about the tips. 
the tips will be uh, you want to skin through the slides over here and just do, uh, okay over here if you click on the slides uh, lecture number seven generics in Java you will be able to see the what's being covered over there I would say maybe take a look at the uh, what are the, the points I was trying to convey in the slides if you feel again if you feel very confident uh, confident confident about the points I convey over there you may not need to watch the uh, video explanation on the other hand if you really have no idea what's being uh, what's being said over here uh, just on the written form that you may actually want to watch the accompanying lecture videos just to make sure you got the proper explanation that's something I will uh, highly recommend right and uh, you can ask questions uh, during the Q&A or just reach out to me during the office hour or email just ask me uh, the basics of generics that's okay right I'll rather you ask me uh, before it's too late and assuming that uh, you know about the basics of uh, Java generics and if from week number three we will actually show to you uh, how you can implement and use generic singly linked list and doubly linked list not this week for this week even if we reach out uh, even if we uh, even if we we reach to the singly linked li uh, singly linked list lecture we're only going to talk about uh, non-generic version just to make sure you can understand the algorithmic part uh, well before we get to the generic version all right so that's about the uh, background study uh, that you I really hope that you will actually learn uh, and catch up and let's now take a look at the learning outcomes for this week let's now start with lecture number two officially and let's look at the learning outcomes first before we dive into arrays and this module is going to help you learn about the basic data structures the basic building blocks arrays versus linked lists it's very important for you to understand the comparison and contrasts be between the two data structures whenever you want to implement some new data structure or the more sophisticated one uh, you have to make a judgment whether using this or using this and very often there's really no correct answer you just have to know what's the trade-off by using one compared to the other and vice versa that's uh, the main lesson to learn as we uh, as we'll learn throughout the course and we will learn about two sorting algorithms uh, specifically we're going to talk about selection sort versus insertion sort and we're going to use the array implementations rather than linked lists for those of you who might be interested in implementing these two algorithms using a linked list maybe after you finish the entire lecture number two it will be your optional exercise you can make notes maybe uh, uh something additional for you uh, for you to do on your own but we're going to talk about arrays so this will also give you some new insights into arrays and also asymptotic uh upper bounds on the array operations and we can talk about linked lists I believe for all of you uh, you didn't really learn about this particular data structure however you did learn about the foundation for linked lists to actually work which is something called reference aliasing right for those of you who are not too sure about ro what reference aliasing is you may actually want to refer to uh, your earlier notes but I'll definitely uh, talk about it uh, just in time when we get uh, when we get there yeah, we're going to talk about two flavors of the linked list one will be singly linked and the other one will be a doubly linked you will see that when we get to doubly linked the reason that we want to make it slightly more complicated in terms of the object structure is actually for design reason and also for runtime performance reason that's something we'll definitely compare and contrast ultimately and we're going to talk about the running time uh, between the two data structure especially their basic operations at the end of this lecture you should have a very good uh, feeling and also foundation about how these two data structures should really work in general and we're going to talk about Java implementation as well remember this course is uh, not just about theory but also we need to talk about program we need to discuss programming as well and what we will start with is for you to understand about the algorithmic part for the uh, uh, linked list operations so we uh, we just talk about each uh, note or each element in the list is simply a string we'll do that first and then in week number three we'll actually talk about the alternative version almost equivalent version but we're going to improve the design of your string list by using uh, uh by implementing that as generic meaning that meaning that we can store any elements in the list and of course about why we should really use generics in uh in the first place you should definitely refer to the three bullet points i just mentioned in the background study right definitely make use of your time to really uh, review the background study and you might be tested about a background study um at some point 
All right, so that's about the learning outcomes for this lecture. It's not going to end this week. Uh, we definitely need to spend the rest of uh, the rest of week number two and week number three for sure. We might have to go slightly into uh, week number four as well. We'll see, right? I want to make sure I cover that in the uh, proper pace. Linked lists is a very, very important subject to study. And then for those of you who might actually need to undergo some co uh, coding interviews, you definitely will uh, run into some questions. Very likely you'll run into questions related to linked lists. All right.